वन टू डन स्मेल ऑफ सन हेलो वेलकम टू द राइस फील्ड्स ऑफ सानिया इन हाइनान साउथ चाइना विथ बीजिंग रिव्यू एंड मी सुदेशना शॉर्टकार 2020 is a critical year for food security. Because of COVID-19, many countries have banned their food exports. China has one fifth of the world's population, but only nine percent of arable land in the world. So, how does China feed its people? In the 1990s, an American environmentalist, Lester Brown, wrote a book, "Who Will Feed China." where he conjectures that the chinese might create a food crisis for the rest of the world but fortunately china has a per capita grain supply of 470 kg which is higher than the global average from 2001 to 2018 of the imports that china got for food the lion's share was soybean which was about 75% the basic staples like rice amounted for 6% so how was this made possible this has been made possible due to visionary agricultural policy which focuses on sustainable development and innovative and advanced farming techniques which included hybrid rice production technology let's go and talk to the people who have made this magic possible 七十年代杂交水稻开始大面积推广，杂交水稻可能够征收、增产、省工、省时，广大的农民呢就可以从土地上解放出来，从事一些其他的生产，增加收入。我们的粮食连续五年超过六点五亿吨，大米和小麦，包括玉米这三个，我们这进口粮是非常少的。In the rest of the world, only five percent of the arable paddy fields are used. to grow hybrid rice but it is estimated that if this cultivation can be enhanced to 50% it would create an additional 160 million tons which could feed another 400 to 500 million people in 2018 800 million people lived in hunger all over the world this year china won the war on absolute poverty now Chinese agro scientists are looking forward to that day when the rest of the world will also eradicate absolute hunger. 美国通过我们的杂交水稻中心获得杂交水稻的专利，成为全球的稻米出口前四位之一。印度的杂交水稻推广的面积越来越大，包括孟加拉和巴基斯坦、南亚啊，也越来越多。We think Mr. Brown should come here. and he should write a sequel to his book because if he comes here he will realize how china has become self sufficient in food production and how china is sharing its food production technology with the world